Hey y'all, I'm back with another video. So today I made some Rotel dip, honey. I had a taste of some nachos, so you might want to tap into this video to see exactly how I made it. My kids went crazy off this recipe. I'll be using some Monterey Jack cheese along with some Philadelphia cream cheese. And then we'll be using that Velveeta cheese. That's a good cheese, y'all. Along with some melted tortito cheese. You can use kidney beans or black beans, whatever you prefer. Get you some Rotel diced tomatoes. They also had this in spicy. I'm also going to be using some hot sausage and some taco mix. And of course, ground beef. So let's get started. All right, you want to make sure you grab your oven pan into a pot. You want to start by adding your olive oil to it. And then you want to add in that hot sausage and ground beef together. Mix it all around until it's fully cooked. Strain your meat and then you want to add it right back into your pot. Honey, when I tell you this was a hit, it was definitely a hit. I give it a 10 out of 10. Now you want to start by bringing your taco seasoning in the mixture. Mix that all in. Add in approximately two-thirds cups of water. Mix that really well. And then you want to just sit this to the side and let it simmer once you mix everything in, all the ingredients. Y'all, let me know what y'all think. Do y'all like nachos or what? Honey, I ain't had nachos in a minute. So you want to start by cutting your Kobe Jack cheese into little blocks. They don't have to be uniform, y'all. As you can see, mine's not perfect. Just go ahead and toss in that ground beef first. I went on ahead and layered that in the middle section. And then all I'm going to do is just add all my cheese, my tomatoes in it, as well as my beans. Whatever you want to add. You can also add you some onions and peppers. Whatever you like, just add it all in here. You don't have to cook it on the stove or nothing. All this going to cook right inside the oven. So without you having to do a thing, honey. And when I put it in the oven, I cooked it on approximately 375 for about, say for about an hour. And then, of course, I checked it, you know, every 30 minutes you check it. Honey, we're going to go ahead and place this right on in the oven. And I ain't finna hold you. Look at that when it came out, y'all. You can't tell me you ain't about to go to the store and get you some ingredients to make this Rotel dip. Look at that. Look at that, honey. Girl, when I'm telling y'all, they went crazy. They went crazy. If you got a big family like I do, I got a family of six, you might want to try this recipe. All I'm doing now is just layering my nachos. Look at that. That looks so good, y'all. It's a cheesy overload, honey. Go ahead and take a bite. Ow. It was so delicious, y'all. Y'all better get into this recipe. Y'all already know we shop on a budget around here. Get into it.